everybody. This is, I am the over ambitious gardener here in Maryland. I'm here with Abby and we're going to yeah. talk about where we're at right now. All right, so it's the first week of March and la uh, two weeks ago, our son Noah and my wife, uh, Lisa and I and Abby, we planted all of these seeds into our trays. Now, we put uh, seed starting soil. We put, uh, we tried to separate the seeds as much as we could. We filled it up with water and these were great. We bought these at Home Depot. Uh, if anybody would like to send us money, that would be great. And um, now many of you know here in Maryland, it's still cold, right, Abby? We have to wear coats to go outside. Oh, Abby is saying, make sure you like and subscribe to our videos. And what we did was is uh, my son Noah had this gooseneck lamp and we put a grow light in it that we bought once again at Home Depot. Uh, hashtag send us money. And uh, and so what's happened here is, is we got our seeds in two primary ways. We order some from Etsy. That's these. These are our, um, our scotch bonnets, red and yellow variety. And uh, Noah and I make hot sauce with those. And then we have friends who like to eat them. And then the other way that we got seeds were, is once again, we bought these seeds and uh, spinach, and spinach, jalapeno, and lettuce. And then this is cayenne, it's okay. And then this is our cayenne peppers. And then these last two, we actually looked up online, right? We looked up how to get the seeds out of peppers themselves. And so this one here was given to us by our friend, Sister Revithy from church, and they haven't grown yet. We're still believing that they're gonna grow, right, Abby? We're still believe they're gonna grow. Say, uh, pray, pray for growth. And then this one here, which is sweet peppers, and those are ones that uh, people eat sometimes just raw, and so we in this household, we like to eat them raw. But the problem is, is our Jalapenos have grown too big. Are those too big? Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're too big for the seed pot. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna transfer from here to here. Now, uh, we don't put these outside until Mother's Day in uh, Maryland, okay? So everyone say, plant your garden, Plant your garden, sorry. That was weak and that was pitiful. That was pitiful. So, <laughs> plant your garden. Plant, plant your, your garden. garden. On Mother's Day. On yeah. Mother's Day. Now the reason we call ourselves the over ambitious gardeners is because we are over ambitious in everything that we do. Now, one of the problems here is, is that these are very, very fragile plants. So, if you have these little plastic things, you can push them from the bottom and they will come up and you just pull them by the leaves is what all the people on the internet told us to do. By the way, we are not professionals. We are a family here. Just trying to have some fun. That's right. So, uh oh my goodness. And if I do this correctly, which is my hope, Abby, go get us a spoon. We need a spoon. We need a spoon. If we do this correctly, we can go, go get a spoon. Oh, she'll be right back. She'll be right back. If we do this correctly, we can use this pot again for our next batch of things that we're going to grow. And the best part about these plastic trays is that it collects water on the bottom, so it will continue to water the plants. Now, this is just like a, a vegetable potting soil. There's nothing special about it. We just kind of did it. Uh oh, here comes, here comes the spoon. All right. Now, the reason I like to use a spoon, and I, once again, there were guys online. There was a very nice British guy. You remember the British guy? We liked him a lot. And uh, he was like, "It helps you. It, you can scoop it out." So uh, we're gonna go right down in there. Try not to touch the plant as much as you can, but you're going to do it because I'm gonna use the other end to make it a little bit easier. Once again, I'm trying not to disturb the plant as little as possible. So I got, here you go, I'm gonna show this here. 
I got it out. Uh, Once again, I think we might have more than one plant uh, in here. Uh, Does that seem correct statement from all the okay. camera people here? Yes. The peanut gallery all is agreeing that we may have more than one plant. So just put it in there. Now they said that peppers you plant at soil level. You don't plant at below level. So, um, you know, growing up I always thought whenever you planted a plant, you planted it at below level. But with uh, peppers, you don't do that. Now, if you were planting tomatoes, you would, because it's, it's technically a vine. Yes. Yes. Are we doing a good job? Oh, look here. Now, look at there. That's a good one. What do you think? What do you think? What about, what about peanut gallery? All right, here we go. The peanut gallery. So we're going to put it in there. Our names are officially peanut gallery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Lisa and Noah are the peanut gallery. You know, it's kind of a weird thing that like, I've used that term my whole life and I have no clue where it came from. Let's just say vaudeville. It came from vaudeville. So, all right. So, we transplanted our very first plants. Jalapeno plants. These will grow this summer into a mighty crop of jalapenos and we will eat them on everything. What are we gonna eat them on? Tacos. And if you cut them up, you can put them in meatloaf, making it more delicious. You can cut it up and put it in beans, making that more delicious. So as we're saying this, Noah is having a heart attack or a heartburn attack. So once again, I hope you all enjoyed our video. Like and subscribe. We are a, we're, we're, we're primarily a church video link here, but I hope you all enjoy. We're the Ambitious Gardeners, and we're going to have a great garden this year.